this video and hundreds more like it available on free Photoshop video tutorials.com. In this video we're going to learn how to make it seem like your photo was taken with infrared film so you get that infrared look. If you've never uh, seen it before it's something it's quite different if you use infrared film to actually take uh, photos of some uh, scenery because uh, infrared just captures things that are below our visible red spectrum. So it, it, it's just something completely sort of like otherworldly and we can recreate that effect with normal photos um, by in Photoshop by just giving that, uh, that look, that infrared look. So the way that we do this is we uh, duplicate our layer here. So we're just going to do a Control and J to duplicate it. And now we're going to go into Image, Adjustments and uh, show all menu items if you have that there. Because what we want is Image Adjustments and Channel Mixer. And in the channel mixer, what we want to do here is, uh, first of all, just tick the monochrome box here. And once we have the monochrome, the, the idea of the channel mixer is that the, the total has to add up to 100%. So what we're going to do here is we're going to put in red at 100%, so red stays pretty much as it is. Green, we're going to add green at 200%, and then blue at negative 200%. So our total is still 100 And what we're doing is we're just adding a lot of the green channel because our image is made up of red, green, and blue, three channels. We're adding a whole lot of the green and removing entirely the blue. And that is basically what you're going to get for the infrared. So you're going to get something that look sort of like this. And what you can do here is if you want to adjust some of this, if you have some really blown out areas, what you can do is just move the constant slider slightly or a lot uh, till you get to a point where it's not so blown out. What's going to happen is it's going to start making everything else darker as well. So you want to maybe uh, strike a balance. I think for this image here, um, it's pretty. It's dark enough as it is. So we're just going to leave it as it is. Or maybe you can just reduce it uh, a couple points. But I wouldn't go any further than four or five percent in this. So we're going to click OK here once we have our channel mixer set. Okay, and uh, we just have a couple more things to do here. We're going to duplicate our layer again. So Control and J. And now we're going to set two different modes for our two layers here. On the top layer, we're going to set our mode to screen. And on our, on our bottom layer, we're going to set that mode to linear burn. And that will just bring in very slightly a bit of that color. And that's basically what happens in, in infrared is that just a bit of that color is able to come through if you do that um, because it's not it's basically not capturing anything in our visible spectrum but this is largely what you're gonna get here this is the uh, the view sort of like what you'd get from an infrared um, film so there you are the infrared look if you enjoyed this video show your support by subscribing rating and adding it to favorites leave comments on our website and we'll create even more videos that interest you